what's up guys so as most of you know fortnite's got a brand new update version 9.40 and we're pretty much almost done with this whole entire season which is always crazy to see how these seasons just fly by but in this update we obviously got some brand new leaks and then of course with those brand new leaks we get brand new cosmetics and that's what we're going to be talking about here I will not lie, there's not a whole lot of cosmetics, but I do believe that some of them are actually hidden within the files that have not been found yet. It's been happening really, really frequently lately in Fortnite. But the ones that we do have here are actually pretty damn cool looking, and especially if you like the whole futuristic theme for skins, which at first I thought was not going to be a good fit for Fortnite. But it turned out to be that some of these Season 9 skins are pretty freaking cool. So... Without further ado, let's just get into the skins. Make sure you let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, yeah, the first skin that I want to showcase is the Astro Assassin. This is going to be an epic outfit according to the leaks. The description reads, out of this atmosphere. Now, a lot of people are saying that this skin is actually supposed to be what the Gemini skin was supposed to be, but it got replaced and just redone a bit. And I'm thinking the reason Fortnite probably did this, which, by the way, I think the Gemini skin was probably a little bit better. This was probably more practical, just because it doesn't have a big old head with big-ass ears. And I felt like the Gemini skin probably got leaked around Easter or something like that. And at the time, it really felt like it fit the theme. But... The more you go on, the more you kind of think about it. Well, maybe having it look like a bunny, you know, gears more towards it being an, you know, Easter type of skin. So that's probably why they kind of changed it up and made the actual, you know, head of the skin a little bit different, which does fit the whole season nine in general a little bit better. The following skin is the Copper Wasp. This is also going to be an epic outfit, according to the leaks. And then it says Karate Master known for his vicious sting if i'm being honest this is the first time that i really take like a deep look at the skin i didn't even know he had like a karate suit with a black belt on so like yeah maybe this dude could really kick your ass who knows next up we have bachi and if i butchered her name i apologize I, i'm not even sure if i'm pronouncing her name right but her description reads adorably mysterious i honestly don't know what exactly to say about this skin except if you like pink you might like this skin and if you like shadow ops haircut then you probably will enjoy this skin because Initially, this is a Shadow Ops with a different outfit and a different mask or just a mask in general. I think one of my new favorite skins is Mika, and it's only a rare outfit, but I really do like her hair. I don't know why. It's not only the color, but I like the style. It's It looks like she's got some pomade going on there. You know, she went to the salon, you know, got ready to kick some ass. The outfit's pretty cool. And um, just overall in general, she looks like a badass. And I really, really do like this skin. The description reads, writing into the future. The next upcoming skin is going to be the Anarchy Agent. It is going to be an uncommon outfit, so this is probably going to be the least rare out of all the cosmetics within this leak so far. The description reads, go on your way, and honestly, I mean, there's really nothing crazy about it. He's just got a mohawk with glasses, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it, I guess. For those of you that are fans of Fish Stick, yes, he is coming back, and he's coming back with a vengeance. He's coming back with a different variant. As you can see in the back, he's had multiple variants before. But this is a brand new one. I feel like the fish stick has become kind of like a meme at this point in this game. Like, I don't even think Fortnite I thought it was going to be such a popular skin. But it is a funny overall looking skin. And they seem to have been implying tons and tons of variants for this particular character. And honestly, I'm okay with it. I don't really use them a lot myself. But whenever you see a fish stick skin, just run the other fucking way. Because you're probably going to die. Now, last but not least is my favorite skin so far out of all the leaked cosmetics within this update and that is going to be suki or suki she's got a t in front of her name I, i'm not sure if the t is silent or not but this skin is just everything about it is so cool it's gonna be a rare outfit only but i like the way the white in her because she's a robot if you can tell she's literally just completely a robot you can tell by you know all the cracks in her arms and you know her knees and all that stuff it's just i i like the way her clothes contrasts with this with the actual color of her plastic skin i guess you can say and then her eyes are like super orange it just looks super super badass unpredictable and unforgiving i know it might look like a simple skin in a way because it's kind of just like a schoolgirl robot but in a way it's got these little details to it that just make it stand out to me and to me this is probably going to be one of my top used skins uh, once it drops within the next coming week or two now there is also going to be this new overtime event that's going to be taking place here in fortnite and there are going to be some actual rewards as far as like skins and these are some of the skins that you guys are seeing on screen that you're going to be able to unlock and they're pretty much just different variants of some of the skins that are already in the game you got that really creepy hooded bear or 
creature, whatever the hell that is. You got Grandpa Jesus, and you got another one of the uh, Season 9 Battle Pass skins. And lastly, you have one of the different variants for Wonder Skin, which could actually be accessible via completing these challenges. There is also some Demi variants, but they're not shown here. And that's pretty much going to be it for, for skins as far as this event goes. Now, here on screen are some of the brand new weapon wraps that are also going to be upcoming within this update. It's a little bit tricky with this one because there's been so many unreleased skins that have been getting mixed up with previous weeks and stuff that uh, everything's just all over the place. So it's kind of hard to depict what is actually coming within this actual update as, as far as like, you know, uh, pickaxes and back blinks. The skins are easy to tell, but the pickaxes and back blinks and all that stuff is a little bit more difficult. Uh, next up, we have uh, some more gliders here. You got the Chaos Glider with the Rose Rider, which is going to be part of a Founders Pack. You also have a brand new Birthday Slice pickaxe. And then you have a Mean Streak pickaxe, which I'm not even sure if it's new or not, but there you guys have it. I think so far, of all the pickaxes that I'm seeing, the best one's probably going to be the Power Punch. It looks literally like, you know, an Infinity Gauntlet in some sort of shape, way, or form. It's, I, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. I kind of like it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the pickaxes. Moving into the back things, the only ones that I see here at the moment of recording this video are the Striped Stalker, the Prospect, and the Moki back bling alongside with the Tana sword lastly there's two emotes the reckless and the business hips and that pretty much is it so far everything for this cosmetic leak is pretty just crumbled together with like just a bunch of weeks from the past of things that have still not been released so it's really hard again to tell what is actually within this update so if i got let me be like one or two things wrong i apologize but for the most part i think we got everything right thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think which one's your favorite skin in the comments below and stay tuned to the channel because i'm going to be bringing you gameplay of the brand new shotgun catch you later